Hello guys, welcome to Clarity for Sure and I welcome you all to today's session where again we'll be discussing with three sets of most important questions. Okay, so these are all your para-based questions. So let us discuss one by one. The first paragraph, uh, if you scan through the paragraph, you'll see that here we are talking about National Marine Fishery Census 2025. So uh, launching the massive nationwide exercise, the minister urged all the officers and innovators participating in the census to ensure that all the fishermen and fish workers registered on the National Fisheries Digital Platform. This is a mandatory requirement to assess benefits under X. So the first question is identify X. So whether it's Blue Revolution, whether it's Matsya Sampada Yojana, whether it's Matsya Kisan Samriti Sah Yojana, or whether it is FIDF. So the answer to the first question will be option number C. That is PM Matsya Kisan Samriti Sah Yojana. To avail the benefits under this Matsya Kisan Samriti Sah Yojana, the fishermen and the fish workers have to be mandatorily registered onto this National Fisheries Digital portal okay nfdp right let's move to question number two then which of the following are the two mobile applications mentioned in the paragraph so if you see in the last line that following the official launch the live data field collection from Maharashtra and kerala was displayed on the screen of the venue showcasing the real-time data capture and central monitoring of the enumeration process using two specially designed mobile applications so in the fisheries uh, census these two mobile applications would be utilized. Okay, so which are the two mobile applications that is being described here? So the answer to this question is option number D, that is Vyas Bharat and Vyas Sutra. Okay, this is the answer to the question. Coming to question number three, which of the following is the nodal agency and operational partner for the Marine Fisheries Census 2025? Whether it is CMFRI, whether it's CIFA, whether it's CIFT or whether it's CIFNET. So answer to this question is option number A, that is CMFRA, Central Marine Research, uh, Marine Fisheries Research Institute. Okay, so this is the nodal agency for the um, Marine Fisheries uh, Census 2025, whereas operational partner is Fisheries Survey of India. Operational partner is Fisheries Survey of India. So, nodal agency is CMFRI and the operational partner is Fishery Survey of India. Next, coming to question number four, what is the tagline for the National Marine Fisheries Census 2025? Option number A says data-driven oceans thriving fisheries. Option number B says smart census, smart fisheries. Option number C says digitizing the ocean protecting tomorrow. Option number D says smart water sustainable futures. So again, the answer to this question is option number B, okay, that is smart sensors, smart fisheries. So this is all from the first set of para-based questions. So these are the answers. Okay, option number one is C, option number two D, option number three is A, and option number four is B. Coming to the next set of questions. Yeah, so let us see about, uh, let's scan through the paragraph. So here it is talking about National Digital Livestock Mission. Okay. And if you see this, that it is basically to establish a farmer-centric digital ecosystem. Okay. Over 9.4 crore livestock owners and 34.5 crore animals have already been registered on the DASH platform, marking a major step towards comprehensive livestock digitization. Okay. So which digital platform is being mentioned in the paragraph? whether it's AgriStack, whether it's Bharat Prashudhan, whether it's eGokul or whether it's Maitri. So answer to this question is option number B, that is Bharat Pashudhan, right? Answer to this question is option number B, that is Bharat Pashudhan. Coming to question number two from this set of paragraph, which of the following is not true regarding National Digital Livestock Mission? So the mission was launched in the year 2021, okay? Option number B says that a digital platform, it is a digital platform being developed jointly by Department of Animal Husbandry, Dairying and NDDB. Option number C, is that C says that it is built on the foundational foundation of the existing information network for animal productivity and health 
and option number D says none of the options are incorrect. So which is the incorrect option? The option to uh, the incorrect option is your option number A. That is, it was launched in the year 2021 and not 2022. Okay, it was launched in the year 2021. National D Digital Livestock Mission was launched in the year 2021. And it was launched de or developed jointly by Department of Animal Husbandry Dairy and NDDB on the lines of what? Information Network for Animal Productivity and Health. So, answer to this question is option number A. Now, coming to question number 3, which of the following is not a major objective of NDLM? Option number A says digital monitoring and uh, disease monitoring and control. Option number B says product traceability. Option number C is breed improvement and option number D is promotion of entrepreneurship. So correct answer to this question is option number D because promotion of entrepreneurship is not one of the objectives of NDLM. Okay, so option number D is the correct answer for question number three. Coming to question number four, how many digit constitutes the Pashu Aadhar that provides unique identity to every animal, whether it's 10, 12, 14 or 16. So answer to this question is 12. Okay, so Pashu Aadhar is a 12 digit unique barcoded uh, identity given to every animal. So answer to this question is option number B. That is, it is 12. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Coming to the next uh, Coming to the next set of paragraph. So here you see that Honorable Minister, Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying and Panchati Raj, they have launched or released the annual publication of Basic Animal Husbandry Statistics 2025. Okay. And this Basic Animal Husbandry Statistics 2025 is based on the outcomes of integrated sample survey, which is conducted from the period dash. So you will have to identify this period. Okay. So... Let's see the options then. Option number A says that 1st of February 2024 to 31st of January 2025. Option number B says 1st of April 2024 to 31st of March 2025. Option number C says 1st of March 2024 to 29th of February 2025. And option number D says 1st of October 2024 to 30th of September 2025. So which is the correct option? It is option number C. Okay. So, option number C is the correct answer. That is, the period is from 1st of March 2024 to 29th of February 2025. Next, coming to question number 2, identify X. So, let's search for X here. The total milk production in the country is estimated to be 247 million tons during 2024-25. Has increased from uh, 239 million tons in 2023. 24 registering a growth of x in 2024 25 so we'll have to identify that x whether it's 4.5 2.75 3.58 or 1.85 so correct answer to this question is option number c that is 3.58 percent that is the milk production has increased by 3.58 percentage from the year 2024 to, 23 24 to 2024 25 Coming to question number three, which of the following is the top contributor of milk production in India? Okay, option number A says Punjab, B says UP, C says Rajasthan, and D says MP. So, correct answer to this question is UP. Okay, the top contributor to milk production in India is UP. Coming to question number four, what is the contribution of commercial poultry in total egg production in the country, whether it's 60%, 24%, 75%, or 85%? So, answer to this question is option number D, that is 85%. It is approximately 85%. To be exact, it is 84.49%. Okay. So, that is the contribution of commercial poultry in total egg production in the country. So, these are the three sets of paragraphs and the associated questions. I hope you like the session. For more such content, do follow our channel. Like, share and subscribe to Clarity for sure. Thank you.